Hello YTPC, this is Steve, you're watching Smoking Cardboard. I am redoing my video because my video cut out on me. I don't really know how long I was talking and it wasn't recording. I am smoking my Mark Tinsky straight billiard and uh, I'm smoking some Black Blake by Robert McConnell and I was trying to compare it against Peterson Dark Blake. These are both Virginia with Perique. I really like these because they uh, are nice on my palate. They don't bite. I like the peppery spice and the black flake seems to be spicier to me, but that's all uh, one's perception. Because the dark flake, which I feel like is spicy, you know, it's got preak too. It just says a little preak. So I, I kind of wonder what a lot of preak, like, if I would like that at all because I find this plenty spicy but they are uh, like two years apart so it's hard to compare one is uh, a lot lighter in color than the other I bet you can uh, guess which one's gonna be darker not by the name but by the two years difference Um, you can kind of see a color difference. This is the black flake. This is the dark flake. I think I like the dark flake better. And I don't know if that is just the two years age. Tastes better. But both are good. These uh, Virginians are darker. They don't have the hay grass. I was saying that they taste like uh, a strong black tea and a little bit of like uh, burnt toast. Not like a bad burnt toast, but you know. A um, little, little bitter, that bitterness with a little slight sweetness that that brings. I just really like the perique spiciness in this without it being never the plum, plummy dark fruits. And I've said this before. So is Black Flake a suitable replacement? They're very, si they're similar. You know, similar stuff. I think uh, Black Sp Black Flake is a different version of the same blend. A previous rendition of it. Uh, so it's got to be pretty close. And I have no idea how much the age is playing into that. I have uh, been spending the last couple of days with my parents. They are stopped by. Doesn't usually happen that I get to see family too often, especially so close to each other. For the fourth, I got to see some family. Then the other vacation, got to see some family. And then my parents were visiting. Now I probably won't see any of my family until Christmas. We are enjoying each other's company. I always uh,
find my parents to be uh, kind and considerate. And um, I appreciate that. I know that, uh, I don't know, I've changed, I've changed over the, over the years and it's got to be uh, interesting uh, to watch as a parent. I certainly think about that sometimes with my kids. What kind of uh, people will they become? What sort of uh, parents if they have children? What sort of jobs? How will they handle themselves? It's uh, bizarre to think of uh, my parents worrying about me. But I know they have over the years. <laughs> I know because they've told me <laughs> and I'm sure I will worry about my kids more than I do now <laughs> it's a little bit easier when they're younger and you can tell them what to do but we're approaching the ages where that's harder to do or at least certainly get them to listen Hmm. I was talking about something else in the video I recorded before, but I think it was stupid. But it's funny how uh, you get part of the YTPC and uh, You don't think about needing set limits when you first start watching videos. It's just exciting and fun. And what kind of limits might you need? Well, the YTPC can get you spending a lot of money. Not because everyone's trying to sell you something, but because uh, uh, they can get you uh, wondering what it would like to be like to enjoy the hobby on a whole new lever level different pipes different styles of pipes different tobaccos they also take up a lot of your time it's my social life now. I want to interact with these uh, friends that I've made online. But you try to explain that to anybody, it's confusing as heck. I always feel like if I talk about pipe smoking, I gotta whisper. Can't you can't mention pipe smoking to a regular person without. Uh, more questions. I feel like sometimes it'd be almost easier to say I was a stripper <laughs> than a pipe smoker. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go to the Las Vegas pipe show. Pipe show? What's a pipe show? Oh, pipe tobacco. What are you gonna do there? See my friends I've never met before. Some of you I have. <laughs> My online buddies. And that just creates more questions. Oh, how do you make online friends with pipes? Well, so on and so forth. But I've uh, definitely gotten more comfortable just being myself with pipes. I have to continue to refine an explanation. Sorry, it's really windy. I don't know how noisy that is on the mic. So I don't have to 
sit there and babble and try to explain the YTBC. I need like a one, one, one word response. It's pipe tobacco. That's all I gotta say. And we communicate online. <laughs> but that's all right. Anywho, I'll let you guys go. Sorry, my uh, review comparison comparison is not super helpful. Uh, it'd be helpful if they were more helpful to me if they were the same age. Because um, this uh, black flake is definitely from this current year. I bought this this year, and that dark flake is at least two years old. But the bummer is the dark flake you can't get in the U.S. anyway. But we can get so many other things. Get the black flake, whatever. When it comes in stock. I did good uh, avoiding the, the twitchy finger when it comes to acquiring more tobacco. Several releases that I avoided. Uh... I'm not against any of those things. I think they're fine. And I think that, you know, if you care about those things, you can you can get them uh, moderately accessible. Unlike the esotericas, that is not easy to get. But um, I just, I have, I just go down and I look at some of those tobaccos that I have that I want to try. And uh, it seems endless. It seems like an endless list. And um, part of me goes, I need, I need to scrap a bunch of this. And then another part of me goes, ah, it's not going to go bad. <laughs> and what if they uh, do implement laws where I can't get any access to this? I'm going to be really appreciative that I have all this stuff. <laughs> so I guess uh, ultimately I take heart. In the fact that I know I haven't spent money that I really regret spending. Uh, me, I spent more than I could afford or anything like that. But I do got to stop looking at pipes. I keep looking at pipes and wanting to buy, buy stuff when I'm not wanting to buy stuff. I just don't need uh, more conversations with my wife about, well... I don't have anything like this. I just I wanted it. <laughs> I didn't need it. <laughs> I try to avoid those set boundaries. As long as they stay in those boundaries, I'd be like, well, that's the boundary I said I would set. <laughs> so, anyway. Second goodbye. Bye. <laughs> See you guys later.